from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the Tom Micah Show. You give him a big Louisville slugger. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write out our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-H66. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Have you been following the story of Vince Young, the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans? Have you been following this story? Oh, my God. What a story this is. Just amazing. There were reports that he was missing. You hear about this? Missing. Well, here's the latest version of the story from ESPN. It says here the mother of Tennessee Titans quarterback Vince Young said he's hurting inside and out and indicated he might not want to play football any longer. Oh, boo freaking who? Felicia Young said in Wednesday editions of the Tennessean newspaper that her son is tired of all the negativity he faced after being booed during a 17-10 to win on Sunday over Jacksonville. Holy cow, man up! Grab your sack, pal! I'm tired of all the negativity, Mom. I'm tired of it. All they do is boo me. Get over it. If you go to the Super Bowl, they won't boo, you moron. Mom continues here. This is Felicia Young, the mother of Vince Young, quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. What would you think if you were tired of being ridiculed and persecuted and talked about and not being treated very well? What would you do? What kind of decision would you make? He may not want to deal with it all, but you have to get it to that point before you make that decision first. She said, but we're not talking about football right now. We're talking about what would make Vince happy. (laughs) And that is the most important thing. Young was the subject of a four-hour search Monday night by Nashville police who were called by Titans coach Jeff Fisher after Young's family members expressed concern about Young's emotional well-being, according to police. Vince Young's agent, Major Adams, is he in the military? You allowed to moonlight like that, representing uh, sports personalities? (laughs) Major Adams... And his colleague, General Mills, they told ESPN reporter George Smith that, well, Major Adams didn't know why the story has taken on a life of its own. What, an NFL quarterback disappears? And you can't understand why that's a story? Okay. Adams said he called Young's friend's house after hearing that Young was missing. Adams said the quarterback was upbeat and watching the Monday night games and confirmed that Young was without his cell phone. (laughs) That's all it was. And uh, by the way, uh, you heard what Vince Young's own mother said, okay? His own mother, but here's the agent. Always putting that Jerry Maguire spin on everything. The agent says, as for reports about depression or Young's fragile emotional state, Adams told Smith, quote, they're unfounded. 
This is Major Adams, the agent for Vince Young, said, It's the first time I've heard that. I know he's not battling depression. He's fine mentally. I think it's an under a misunderstanding and misinformation. Maybe you better call mom. Unbelievable. His mental state has been in question since he was booed Sunday after his second interception. During the Jacksonville game, that is not so unusual to boo the quarterback if he's intercepted, is it? Says here he didn't want to go back into the game until prodded by Coach Jeff Fisher. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Look, you're an NFL quarterback. You're making millions of dollars a year. Now the fans boo you because you're intercepted. Now you don't want to go back into the game. What a pussy. You're a pussy. Says here he sprained his left medial collateral ligament four plays later and could be out for up to four weeks. Fisher said Tuesday night he is ruling Young out only for Sunday's game at Cincinnati. But Young didn't go to the team's offices Monday and postponed his MRI exam until Tuesday. He met with a psychologist along with Fisher and another team official at his home on Monday. Four hours of uncertainty follow Monday night when Young left his home without his phone, prompting someone at his home to call Fisher. Fisher returned, called police to help find the quarterback. When he was finally found, Young agreed to meet with Fisher and police at the team's training facility, after which Young drove himself home. Felicia Young said they're going to give her son some space. She told the Tennessean newspaper, It is hard. All he is going through right now, he's hurting inside and out. But he will be fine if people are prayerful and help my baby boy out. He is a young man. He just needs a lot of love and support. Well, F that. You're an NFL quarterback. You're an adult. You're making millions of dollars a year. Man up. Man the F up. If you can't man up, then get the hell out of the NFL. Get out. If you can't be a man and step up to the plate, then get out. What do you think about this? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. To all those guys out there that are that are knocking these broads up and, and telling them that they love them and, and all of that, you know. These girls don't love you. These girls love wallet. These girls don't want to have your baby. These girls want to have job security. It's the Tom Likas Show. I think he's a crybaby. How much money does he make? Let me tell you. He signed a five-year deal with an option for a sixth. $25.7 million guarantee, but an overall value that can reach $58 million with option and roster bonuses and salary. <laughs> uh, like he makes $2.365 million a year just for making the team, in addition to what he would normally make. So, uh, if you're making as as much as uh, as much as uh, eleven million dollars a year, be an NFL quarterback, man up, man up. Fernando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, uh, you know what worries me? It's uh, we're we're growing pussy cats in this country, man, uh, and these are the role models uh, kids have. It's pretty outrageous. Yeah, I'm not going to go with the whole money thing. I mean, because anybody who's making so much money, you know, you 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 have to take the bad with the good, you know. And there has to be a lot of bad if there's a lot of good, man. But but this is just outrageous. I agree with you. And and I mean, what is Terry? You remember '70s Terry Brasho, bloody on on the field. I mean, what what? <laughs> What are these guys doing? This I mean, guy has his mommy talking for him now? Yeah, and the mommy, is, and he's hiding be, behind the, the mother. I mean, a bunch of pussycats, man. It's just, a, a, it's an old sport, and this guy's making a outrageous amount of money, and, and they're not manning out. You gotta give him space. 
And, and, and young, young boy, young man, he's a man. There's guys killing people and getting killed in Iraq for what? For $25,000, $30,000 a year? And they're crying? Ooh, they're shooting at me, Mom. Hey, he was bad enough to win the Rose Bowl a couple of years ago. Uh, who cares? I mean, uh, I mean, he's a pussycat. He's a little girl. Uh, uh, just because they make so much money and uh, they think they're so good that nothing can happen to them. But you know what? Uh, they're not mining up and, and they can't be role models, man. Well, I agree with you on that, Fernando. Thank you. Caesar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Dad? Doing okay, sir. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, uh, two things. One thing, I don't remember ever seeing his mommy holding his hand at the Rose Bowl. Yeah, that's exactly right. Two things. Or the second thing, uh, maybe they should suit up his mom. Maybe she's got more cojones than me. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. All I, the money he's making is just ridiculous. I don't see Reggie Bush crying. Uh, there you go. No, but he's got a uh, Kim Kardashian with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, Dad, blow me up, please. Here you go, son. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Phil on the Tom Likas show. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm okay. Uh, I'm doing great. Hey, uh, I just got a couple points for you. I just wanted to say uh, Vince Young is is he used to be a big fish in a small pond, and now he's a small fish in the big pond. He just can't handle it. I mean, like you said, he was in the Rose Bowl. You know, I'm actually a cow alum, so I have a little bitterness over that. You know. Texas got to play Michigan in the Rose Bowl. They destroyed Michigan. And the next year, you know, it could, could have been any better. Ran in the final scoring touchdown to beat USC. And, you know, I, it's just he's living in that moment. And now that he's actually got to compete with people who have extreme talent, he just he just can't handle it. He's not. He's just mentally weak. Well, uh, it certainly seems to be. I mean, my God, one interception and the fans boo you, and now you don't want to go back into the game? Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, and and he, I don't think he realizes it's a job too, and they haven't they have a, a, a ton of money invested in the guy, so you know he's saying he needs this space, but hey, if I if I'm paying you millions of dollars to perform a job every year, I, I'm I'm going to look after my investment. I, I don't think he seems to understand that. Good point. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's continue here with what? Look at all the calls coming in about this, Daniel. On the Tom Likas show, hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. Uh, pretty much, I don't feel bad for the guy at all because, like everyone else is saying, he was he was the big man on campus at one time, and now he comes to the pros. And what he doesn't realize is everybody in the NFL is good. There's, I mean, everybody they're they're all, they're all there for a reason. And uh, I think it just kind of pisses me off the way uh, they, the way he would quit like that. I mean. Uh, what kind of, he's a role model, first of all. What kind of example is that? And he's just a big baby, pretty much. Mommy, and, uh, they booed me. They booed me, mommy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and, you know, I, I kind of could tell back when he was playing in college. He, he just has that personality, like, I don't know. I mean, he just he doesn't seem uh, like a like an NFL quarterback. He, he, he won't be either. I think uh, in maybe two years he might be done. We might not ever hear from him again after this. Wow, boy, just having that reputation. Yeah, exactly. Can I you mean, imagine how people will be gunning for him now, knowing what a pussy he is? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. And uh, one day, you know, you might walk off, off the field, and that, that's the next step. Just walk off the field right out the stadium with his head down, crying. All right, Tom, that's what I wanted to say. And, uh, can you take me out with the blanket? I certainly can, Daniel. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Father. How are you today, Son? I'm doing great. Hey, listen, I couldn't agree with you more. Would you agree with me if I asked you that if the NFL was more one of the most masculine occupations a guy could have? Well, of course. Exactly. If this guy is too much of a bitch to man up, then he needs to hike up his skirt and get out. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's got his mommy's skirt hiked up. That's what he's doing. Think about it. When Kobe Bryant was facing all that criticism and adversity about being too selfish 
being a shooter, not a passer, not trusting his teammates. What did he do? He silenced his critics because he went out and he became the NBA's league most valuable player. And not only did he do that, he went to the finals. He came up short, but you know what? They'll rebuild. Andrew Bynum will be back. But Kobe Bryant went out and he became a gold medalist Olympic athlete. What more can you do? That's what this young needs to do. He needs to hike up that skirt or pull up that dress, whatever he's got on, get out on that field and silence his critics by coming to play, man enough to in the job. You're, you are exactly right. You are exactly right. And, and by the way, he won that game. Ridiculous. I mean, that's the thing. The, the Tennessee Titans won the game. I guess. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Uh, they booed him because he got intercepted. Oh, gee. All right, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Take me out with Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Here you go, Joe. Thank you, Jesus. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. We're talking about Vince Young, the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. Mommy says he needs space. <laughs> this is Blake on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, you know, I don't, I don't disagree with you. This is just a case of the pacification of America. Um, the reality is this guy came from Texas. Texas is a huge football state. Texas, the University of Texas is one of their biggest programs in Texas. And he was a god there. And for him to come out of there after winning a national championship and going into a broader market where people are going to be more judgmental of his play, he just can't take it. And unfortunately, he's, what, a 23-, 24-year-old kid still? Yeah. It's a lot of money to give these guys. And I think they were talking about um, these you know huge salaries that they were giving players right out of college. And they need to look into that. But... The reality is the, the guy's still a kid. He, he doesn't necessarily know how to handle all of the pressure and the attention, and especially coming from oh, a lot a of program. the other quarterbacks have handled it. Uh, what other young quarterbacks have uh, gone home crying to mommy? Yeah, no, I, I agree. It's just, you know, this guy had it made, and he came out of there, and he just doesn't know how to take the criticism. And, uh, you know, it's just immaturity is what re in reality what it is. So... Well, uh, you know, there's plenty of young players in the NFL. Yeah. Including several young quarterbacks. Yeah. Well, I, like I tell you, I'm not a big fan I'll of I'll tell you what, game. I mean, uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers is not a rookie. He's been playing for a couple of years. He's just been uh, not getting into the game very much. But uh, here's a guy who had to deal with replacing Brett Favre and all that negative publicity and all the interviews. And is he coming back? Is he not coming back? Will he be traded? What will, what will people in Green Bay think of it? You know what? Give that guy credit. He yeah. didn't cry. He didn't go home to mommy. That's right. And he went out there and he won his first game for the Packers. So you got to give that guy credit. Yeah, not just that. He endured a very embarrassing draft day. Yes. I mean, <laughs> that guy's got balls. Vince Young is a pussy. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you, Tom. Can you uh, take me out of the bong hit? You bet I can, Blake. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Good man. Good man. So here's my thought. You know, all these people, professional athletes, actresses, actors, all these things. They got this kind of persona about them, where they think that the whole world revolves around them, and they're not thinking about the rest of the world that is out there for them to experience. And so he's kind of. He's being ignorant to the fact that it's not all about the NFL. It's not all about him. And he needs to grow up, do his job, and then live his life. Well, that, that's what he's got to do for that amount of money. My God, the guy's making at least $5 million a year. He's 24 years old. The NFL, it's a lot of money to be making. A he's lot. Being a, he's being a little kid about it. And, you know, there's there's 18-year-olds who go into the NBA. Like, how old was uh, LeBron James when he went into the NBA? Oh, my God, he was 18. And he's a grown-up kid. Yes. And this guy's out He's 24, and he can't handle the pressure? It's pretty outrageous. I mean, the guy won the Rose Bowl, all right? He's, he's, got, to, he's got to develop some personal skills before he's going to try. So it. unless he wins and, every game, unless he wins every championship, he's going to be a little whining bitch? Exactly. you got to grow up. you gotta, you got to grow a sack, and you, you're going to have to play with the big league. 
You got to know how to handle yourself. Boo hoo hoo! I need space, mommy. <laughs> exactly. You just got to grow up. He's got a he's got a grow sack. Is exactly what you got to do. Give me a break, Paul. Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? You're the father I never had. Thank you. Uh, two things. I think uh, with all the money he's made, he needs to go and buy a fast sports car and an even faster escort to remind him why he can take the booze. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about anyone else, but if you gave me the kind of money that, Vic, uh, that uh, Vince is getting paid... I'll let you strap a midget on my back that can boo me every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. This is insane. I know. It's like ridiculous. Jeez. Take take the booze and wipe your tears with $100 bills. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, anyway, that's all I got. I'm a one-trick pony. Matt, thank you for that. That's enough. All we need is one trick. As long as you have more than half a trick, we're fine. This is Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Larry, how you doing, man? What's going on, man? <laughs> Who? Larry? Yeah, okay. Hi, Larry. What's well, a question? <laughs> Panorama City, California. Hello. Frankie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How you doing, brother? I'm okay. All right, Tom. Hey, you know what it is? It's Texas Longhorns, buddy. They're breeding these pussies because look at uh, Ricky Williams. He also walked away from the game. He did. Now he's back, but who knows? Yeah. Who he's knows not the it? same, though. Yes, I do. What's going on? Was there a female coach there or something? What's the deal? I have no idea, but they, they need something over there. That's right. Thank you, Tom. Frankie, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm a big Kings fan. I hope they have a better season than last year. I just wanted to send that out first. I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on that. All right, man. I just want to make a quick comment. I played in the big leagues for a couple of years. I played on the biggest stage with all the guys that made the millions. I saw young kids come up. They get paid millions of dollars out of college or high school. You know, that's the problem with professional sports these days. They're giving millions of dollars to these young kids. They haven't proven a damn thing in the, at the big league level or at the NFL level. They're just assuming they're going to be good. What's the point of me doing better when you're giving me millions of dollars? You know, I got money in the bank. What, what, you know, if, if I get beat up, oh, well, I got money in the bank. I could just walk away. I, I'm totally disgusted with how professional sports is handing money to these amateur athletes before they get and prove themselves. I mean, I know the college level is, uh, the Division One level is big, but when you give somebody that much money, what's the incentive of, 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 of being good? You know, well, you part of it is because the unions uh, are not willing to agree to limits to how much these kids are paid. I, I completely agree. I, I just think it's totally disgusting. It's ruining some of the the heart of some of these young players. Now, I'm all for you know giving uh, gifts and bonuses to these young players for what they've done in their in their earlier career. But I mean, for Vince Young, I mean, for him to come out and say, "Oh, you know, I'm getting beat up. I suck," or whatever. You know, the bottom line is, you know, sack up. You, just like everybody else is saying, he was a he was a big fish in a little pond, and now he's getting his ass kicked, and and it's just it's garbage. So I, I don't feel for the guy at all. I agree with you, Mike. All right. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Half past the hour on the Tom Likas Show here at 1-800-5800-TOM. And here we are talking about the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans NFL team, Vince Young. Uh, my goodness, uh, he seems to have disappeared the other night. Monday night, disappeared for about four hours. Police were called. Mommy was all upset. And Mommy is speaking on Vince Young's behalf because he got booed. He got intercepted and the fans booed him. And then he didn't want to go out on the field again. And Mommy says, give Vince some space. Give my boy some space. 1-800-5800-TOM. Olin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Doing okay, sir. Hey, I just got a few things to say. First, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. So go Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. The second thing is uh, Vince Young is a pussy. You could pay me a hundred thousand dollars a year, and you could boo me out of the stadium. I don't give a damn. Bottom line, I mean, I tell you what, I, you know what? I, 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 even if you booed me at night, I'd go to sleep on a mattress full of hundred dollar bills. I'd be very comfortable. Oh yeah, I'd be happy. 
I don't care if you boo me. Do whatever you want. Just make sure the check clears. That's right. Appreciate it, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Olin. Appreciate the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue here with Albert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Albert. Hello, Dad. Son, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, Father. First time caller, long time listener, Dad. Love your show always. Thank you. Yo, and you know what? To bring a point to this, Vince Young's nothing but a little punk. You can't even handle the pressure, and you're a professional athlete, man, 24 years old. Hey, just like the other car talking about LeBron James. LeBron matured, man. Even though he didn't win a championship, but look where Vince Young said. I mean, I never liked Vince Young since he was in Texas, and they robbed us in that SC ball game. Yeah. But the past in the past, I leave that. But all I got to say about Vince Young is he's nothing but a little punk and a waste of talent for the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> <laughs> so all I have to say, Dad, can you take me out Kobe style, Dad? I certainly can, son. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Tom on the Tom Lega Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. I have two words. Terrell Owen. Yeah. Last year he was bitching about how he wanted to get out of the Eagles. Went to Dallas. He that was, was actually a that was actually a couple of years ago. All right, my bad. And then when they lost, what happened? He starts crying. Don't blame the quarterback. Blame the team. This is exactly what's going to happen to Vince. It's going to be a pain in the ass, and they're going to just see what a crybaby he is. <laughs> I fact, love I think that's a new one. You can have a Terrell Owens out with him crying about blaming the team and not the quarterback. <laughs> I am amazed at how people are into this. I'm I'm blown away. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, big dog? Great. I just want to say if Vince Young uh, wants to quit playing football at this point, he can still make money advertising Vagisil. <laughs> that or, or some maxi pads or some tampons or something, you know? <laughs> he needs to quit his belly aching, stop bleeding, pack it up, eat some chocolate, and go back to work. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Tom. Hey, can you take me out with a bong rip, a shotgun, and a thank you, Jesus? Yes, I can. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about Vince Young, the quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. Mommy says he needs space. Roy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Roy. What's going on? Not much, Roy. Man, Vince Young is a wuss. If he can't take the bulls, get out the game. I'm a Niner fan. When Joe Montana left, they booed Steve Young. But what Steve Young do? He came and prevailed, man. If you can't take the heat, get the hell out the kitchen. That's right. You know what I mean? With the money these guys get paid, <laughs> no crying. No crying in the NFL. Overrated. Overrated. All these prima donna players. Hey, look at Alex Smith. Overrated. I wanted Aaron Rodgers. Now look. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been a fan since I was a kid. Now look at us. And what, uh, Alex Smith is at home crying to his wife and his arm hurts? No, you get out there and you play through it. Play through it or get out of the game. That's it, bro. All hey, right. Tom, take me out. Kobe style. Here man. you go, Roy. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I'm calling for all the ladies. You are a horrible man. You are a horrible man. It's the Tom Likas Show. I promised I wouldn't get emotional. I'd like to thank the, the Packers for giving me an opportunity as well. I hope that every 
Penny. I hope that every penny that they've spent on me, they know it was money well spent. I, uh, it was never about the money or fame or the records. And I hear people talk about your accomplishments and things that It was never my accomplishments. It was our accomplishments. The teammates that I played with, and I can name so many. It was never about me. It was about everybody else. I'm honored. Really. Um... Yeah, I am honored. I hope everyone knows that how special this is. I truly appreciate the opportunity. And as they say, all good things must come come to an end. This is not about, you know, Tony. You guys can point the finger at him. You, you can talk about the vacation. And if you do that, it's really unfair. It's really unfair. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. We lost as a team. We lost to the team, man. We could be real frustrating to eight minute drives, ten minute drives, and then trying to turn around and get a 46 second drive. It's, it's going to be hard to take two right. This loss hurts. This loss hurts. Because I know this team was dedicated and put in a lot of hard work get where we are we didn't execute and we knew in, in order to, to win this game we had to put some points on the board and we didn't do that He's not ready for it to be over. He's not ready. He's not ready for it to be over. Well, well, well. Just love it. I just love it. A little medley there, some of your favorite sports figures, weeping. <laughs> that last one there, that, uh, you know, Billy Wagner, the relief pitcher for the New York Mets, found out he was going to be uh, injured and he'd be out not only the rest of this season, but all next season, so he announced his retirement. <laughs> but he's not ready for it to be over yet. <laughs> <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Hannah on the Tom Like is show. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Tom. Not much. Did you know your name spelled backwards spells Hannah? No, and they ruined it with the tropical storm. <laughs> it's called a palindrome. It's a palindrome, exactly. 
So what's going on? I'm 26. I'm from Vermont. I'm living in Southern California, and I gotta tell you, the Tennessee Titan quarterback, major pussy. Major pussy. It's ridiculous. You know, I, his mother still wipes his ass. <laughs> I gotta tell you, she does. And you got, got more, you've got more information about this than I do. No, that's probably why she said you got to give him some time. She's still cleaning his ass. <laughs> Ridiculous. You know, when people say, you know, tuck it in, well, he needs to untuck it so he can let it hang and be a man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> getting, well, getting paid thousands, hundreds and thousands of dollars. He should be happy to, you know, take a couple diggers and fall in your face hole for that money, you know? It's ridiculous. <laughs> But it's true. It's true. It's so true. True. That's why I'm like, I got to call Tom and talk to him about this. I'm a first time caller. I'm from Vermont. I'm, you know, I've been in California for a year and I totally respect your show and you telling half of the men in America to stop being pussies. I appreciate you. By the way, I'm telling all the men in America to stop being pussies. Only half of them are listening. Half of them listen. Yeah. No, it's appreciated. (laughs) Thank you, Hannah. Oh, no, you're welcome. Thank you. There she goes with her palindrome. Dean, you know what a palindrome is? <laughs> well, that's a good assumption there. When he says he's assuming it's the back and forth thing, it, that doesn't mean he knows it. It means he just heard it for the first time. He's still looking it up, he says. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. As you know, many people call talk radio. Anonymously, just like Awatuki Sue and others, you never know who's calling. People are anonymous, and when they're anonymous, they'll say anything, absolutely anything about anyone. They can make any claim. They might be telling the truth, or they might not, and we have no way of checking. So this guy's about to tell you something. This next caller is about to tell you something that he says he knows. Does he know it? Who knows? I have no idea. But I'm giving you this little disclaimer to let you know you should take everything callers say with a grain of salt. Okay? Let's put them on now. This is Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Mike. What's going on? Just do a little radio show here, Mike. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I played with uh, Vince Pussy before. And uh, that (laughs) is actually his name that we, as the offensive line called him because we weigh a total when we we played we weighed a total of over two thousand pounds um and he weighs one hundred and eighty and uh basically I'm more sick of his mom talking about what he should do and who should not make fun of him or what my I'm baby needs space. I'm so sick of that. Oh, my God. And then Vince Young. Here we go again. I mean, when we got drunk with Vince Young, he would take two beers and say he was hammered. At one time, we have him on film. We put O'Doul's in a Coors Light, and he said he was drunk. He is a major pussy. Is that so? That is. is, Do you have that video? I'd love to see that. I actually do have that video, or one of my other 400-pound linemen have it. Oh, yeah. Send that on in. Yeah, you guys want to see that, huh? Oh, yeah. We definitely want to see that. Yeah, I want to get on the ESPN to show everybody how really big of a pussy he is. The timing couldn't be better. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sick. Of, I mean, what, when we were playing uh, in one of the games, he told me that he had a right pinky toe injury and he didn't know if he was going to be able to play today. I can't feel my right pinky toe. I'm too big. Mm -hmm. That is bitch made. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm sorry. If I can see him right now, and and if if he's listening right now, this is 4-0 right now. You know who I am, Vince, and I'm sure you got enough time with your bitch ass laying down and not playing for all that money that you're listening. This is me. You know who I am, and I'm calling you out. You're a bitch, and if you got something to say about it, then come and meet me. And I'm sure. I think his I think his that. mommy wants to come meet you and tell you to stop doing that. Oh, I'll do different things to his mom. I'll do any different things to his mom in the bedroom. 
Oh, my hope goodness. You, hope you heard that, too. All right, 4-0, thank you for calling in. And again, as I told you, when a caller calls in, he's anonymous. You have no idea if what he's saying is true. So just take it with a grain of salt. You can decide for yourself if you believe what he said. Oh, duels at a Coors Light camp. All right. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kenneth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kenneth. How you doing? I'm doing okay. All right. Um, I'm actually from Ranch Cucamonga, California. I listen to your show all the time. Love it. Great fan. Actually dumped that bitch just most recently. But I want to talk about this Cat Vince Young. Is this, tell me something, is this mom still rubbing a vapor rub on his chest? Is he sick? <laughs> huh? You gotta wonder. <laughs> Breathing in all those fumes. What yeah, when he comes home from the football game, is she putting back teen on his cuts? Hello? <laughs> Man, these cats make so much money. I mean, millions and millions and millions of dollars that we all would give up uh, uh, our are not for it to to have what he's had. You, you Matt Liner, Matt Liner makes um Matt, Matt Matt Liner makes as much money as him. And look, he's on the bench. Do you see him benching and moaning? They're both big big fish in a small pond, or in a small hot tub. In the case of Matt Liner. <laughs> oh man, Tom, this is just so ridiculous. These guys should be thankful for what they're doing. They should be thankful. He should get his butt on the field. Get his ass on the field, suck it up, play it, tell his mom to stop getting in the business. Absolutely, for Christ's sake. The Tom Likas Show.